dear students let us we start with the next unit unit number 5 that is flow of an abap programs in this unit you will learn about the processing of the abap programs how the abap programs runs and how it execute on the application servers and if this abap program is based on your database transactions then how it execute onto the database servers and how it fetches the data and store the result into the database and send back result to the client or users so let us start with this lesson lesson number 1 describing the processing of abap programs so this is lesson number 1 describing the processing of abap programs so first of all in this lesson you will learn about the sap netweaver application server architecture then we will discuss the execution of a simple dialog program by the abap runtime systems so start with the first topic that is your client server architecture of sap netweaver application server so this as stand for the application server so as you can see that this is general architecture in which the architecture is divided into three layers and the three layers are the first one is database server layer second is application server layer and third one is presentation server layer so on this database server layer we have the number of work processes which are working behind this database server so you can view it as a database server view on which the number of work processes are working similarly on to the application server layer you can see that there are number of application server instances this is first instance this is your second instance and each of the instance have dispatcher as well as work processes so this dispatcher will distribute all the works which will be given by the presentation servers clients to the work processes and these work processes send that request to the database server work processes so by this way it execute the transaction which is given by the client at the third layer that is your presentation server view at that presentation server view there may be any number of clients so these are the number of clients client 1 2 3 4 5 6 so or any of the client may send the request to the application server so you can see that the is this client is sending request to this dispatcher second is sending the uh, command to the dispatcher similarly the these clients are also sending the work or command to the application server for execution so this was all about the client server architecture of the sap network application servers now come to the next point that is called excerpt of an abap program so in this excerpt of abap programs you can again see that we have the three layers the first one is database second is application server view and third one is the presentation server view on the database server we have the number of tables that is as you know the table you can say that it is some kind of a uh, relational database management in this relational database management or you can say that rdbms the table you can define as a number of rows as well as columns so each table contains the rows and columns and the rows are sometimes called tuples and columns are sometimes called fields so you can see that there may be any number of tables may be there at the database level now come to this application server view the application server view there may be some abap programs and this abap programs are processed onto the application server when writing this application program the design of the user dialog and the database access is a important task so you can see that this is a abap program and this abap program you can assume it as a work process now come to the presentation server view on the presentation server view we have three option by which we can uh, open this presentation server the first one is sap gui second is enterprise portal and third one is web browser now come to the next point view for the user if we will look this in this diagram this is an application server this is your database server and this is your presentation server so for every average user has a some practical interest in the business process and how data can be entered how the data is entered 
or can be entered or displayed. So this doesn't include the knowledge of the precise process flow of an ABAP program. How the ABAP program is executing at this application server. How the application server sending requests to the database server and the database server sending result back to the application server. So it doesn't include the knowledge of the precise process flow of an ABAP program. Thus the SAP system is look like a black box to them. So for the average user, it is look like a black box. So the only concern with the user is to enter the inputs at the presentation server onto the screen. When the user enter some input and then start executing it, it send request to the application server. And the user doesn't mean how the application server and database server is executing that instruction or command on the inputs and returning result back to the user. So for the average user, it look like a black box. Now come to the next topic that is interplay between the server levels and the program flow. Suppose again, we have three layers. This is your database server layer. This is application server layer. And third one is presentation server layer. So this is showing that's interplay between the server level. So these are the server level, application server, database server level, and this is your presentation server. How the program flow goes on. You can see that if the user perform a user action, suppose a user is entering something on the screen onto some dialogue by choosing an enter key or a function key, the control is passed to the application server from presentation server to application server. If a further user dialog is triggered from within the ABAP program, the system transmits the screen control back to the presentation server. So this is program start and then it is sending back the result. So a program generally normally comprises not just a single block. It may be have some number of reusable units and these reusable unit is sometimes called modernization units. And or in a good program, the database access will be encapsulated in such reuse unit. So this create a the division between the design of the user dialog and the database access. So how this ABAP program will be executed? Let us we see. So suppose this is a program start. The program is starting from the presentation server. That means Program start means we are running some ABAP program or this ABAP program may be consisting of the number of reuse unit and that reuse unit is called modernization unit. So this ABAP program may return back to the presentation server for asking some input to enter by the user. So post user enter something input into this uh, dialog box and then press execute then it again back to the application server and if program is currently using some reuse unit that is your uh, function modules then it may concern with the database tables for getting some data for storing some data and after storing or getting fetching some data from the database tables it returns result back to the reuse unit and the reuse unit will return result back to the ABAP programs so after final execution of the complete ABAP programs it returns result back to the presentation server. So this is your interplay between these server levels. The interplay is doing between the presentation server and application server. In case of application server and the database server is also an interplay is doing. So by this way you can understand about this topic. Now come to the next topic and uh, we will see here the step by step process of the interplay between these servers. So this is database server, this is application server, this is your presentation server. So whenever the user log on onto the systems, a screen is displayed. So you can see that when you are starting a program, a user logs on onto the system, a screen will be displayed. This screen helps the user to start an ABAP program. So user will start an ABAP program through the menu path. Or you can either enter the transaction command to the command field. When you will enter it, it will interact with the application server. So when the program starts and 
corresponding to this program start the system first load the program context suppose a program context is consisting of selection screen data objects and some web processing block so that context will be stored from repository to the application server a repository is a special part of a database passes on the all program information to the runtime system so this is an abap runtime system and repository will load all the program contacts to the abap runtime systems and the abap runtime system controls the subsequent program flow so once the contacts of this abap program is loaded onto the abap runtime system then abap runtime systems send selection screen back to the presentation server so as you can see in the next diagram it is showing the screen onto the presentation server for asking some input and the user may enter some input here so user if suppose user have entered two numbers 10 and 20 so that means the 10 and 20 is corresponding to that data object which were loaded from the repository to the abap runtime system so input values are inserted into the data object correspondingly then it may be the user program the main program may ask to execute the reuse unit so for execution of this reuse unit the repository first have to up, uh, load this context of this reuse into unit into the application server so after you finish entering the data onto the screen you can trigger further processing of the program to choose the execute button the enter data are automatically placed in their corresponding data objects in the program and the abap runtime system resume control is processing if you entries do not have the correct type then you will get automatically errors onto your screen so you must then have to correct the entries onto the screen so now come to the next thing you can see that there is some reuse unit so a main program may call some reuse unit and that reuse unit is called some function module a reuse unit is called in the processing block that encapsulate the database access so with this the program in which it contains is also read from the repository and loaded into the application server so once the reuse unit is loaded onto the application server the main program ABAP processing block can call the reuse unit ABAP processing block. The required data is transferred to the called program. So required data will be transferred to called program and the reuse unit is executed. As the execution is synchronous, you know that the calling program waits until the reuse unit is processed completely. Now, the program requests data records from the database so this reuse unit will request uh, some data from database information about the database to build access and the row in the table to be read and passed to the database and then the database table will return result back to the reuse unit after that in the next step you will see the reuse unit will transfer the result back to the main program and then main program will return runtime system will send the list or result back to the application sorry presentation servers so this was all about the uh, you can say that detailing things how the interplay is doing between the application server presentation server and database servers so this was all about the unit number five Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you really like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button.